My dear. It was around 8 a.m. Monday when three officers got a call about a traffic accident, but it turned into a deadly gunfight after they arrived and began to clear the scene in Whittier, southeast of downtown L.A. As they patted down one of the men involved, he pulled a gun from his waistband and started shooting. Officer Patrick Hazel was wounded but is expected to survive. Officer Keith Boyer was killed. As Officer Boyer's body was escorted through the streets of Whittier, reports surfaced that the 26-year-old known Game gang member, up. identified yes. by police as Michael Mejia, is also suspected of killing his cousin and stealing the cousin's car hours before the shootout with police. The Whittier police chief angrily criticized California's early release programs, claiming the shooter had just recently been paroled and should not have been on the street. We need to wake up. Enough is enough. You're passing, passing these propositions, you're creating these laws that are, is raising crime, and it's not good for our communities, and it's not good for our officers. Early release has been accelerated in recent years in California, partly as a result of a 2011 Supreme Court ruling that the state's prisons were so overcrowded that it amounted to cruel and unusual punishment. Department of Corrections data shows that thousands of convicted murderers and other violent offenders have been freed, with Governor Jerry Brown having the final say in those releases. Michael Mejia, the alleged shooter in this case, has a long criminal record and was most recently released from the L.A. County Jail on February 11th, having served 10 days for a probation violation. Now, under California Assembly Bill 109, passed in 2011, low-level non-violent offenders are frequently held in county jail rather than state prison. Critics say that law has led to criminals serving shorter sentences than they previously would have. Brett? Jonathan, thank you. President Trump's pick to run the environmental protection... Okay. Oh.